That's channel. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's in pre- the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Sean John Combs, popularly known as Diddy, has been one of the more popular names in the music industry for over a decade. His accomplishments, influence, and impact on the music and business scene has been nothing short of remarkable. And one of his very many accomplishments is his ability to groom young rappers and turn them into music stars. But some shocking details have come to light about the Bad Boy Records founder, which might have exposed why many young rappers should be wary of the music icon. In this video, we will look at these shocking details revealed about Diddy. So why are young rappers advised to steer clear of Diddy? Watch on to find out. Diddy, aka Puff Daddy, is one of the most successful figures in the rap industry. He made his fortune from a number of various sources, including Bad Boy Records, which he founded in 1993, his clothing line, liquor company, and television network. But like you had imagined, Diddy's journey to the top wasn't easy. As documented in Diddy's very own documentary, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, The Bad Boy Story, which focused on his rags to riches story, Diddy's first attempt at getting rich was selling drugs as a student at Washington, D.C.'s Howard University. Back in the early 90s, I saw a lot of my friends coming around with big wads of cash, so I decided to try it out, Diddy said. His father, Melvin, had followed the same path before he was killed in a drug deal gone wrong when Diddy was a toddler. But it wasn't long before Diddy realized that he wasn't meant for street life. I went out on the strip in Maryland, but when I got there, within about five minutes, somebody yelled, jump out, a warning of undercover police. So I started to run, he recalled. There were helicopters, they were trying to break down doors. After that, I told God he didn't have to worry about me going down that road. Diddy then decided to pursue a career in music. And not only did he reestablish the East Coast as the center of hip hop, but Combs took the music and the lifestyle into mainstream culture. That made him the unofficial King of New York in the 1990s and early 2000s. When you rolled with Puff, it was like you had the key to the city, says Quinez. Q. This is why many young rappers look to be taken under Diddy's wings as mentees. You see, they try to tap into his fame and knowledge of the industry. However, recent news have shown that Diddy may have been involved in a lot of controversial issues, which includes being in questionable relationships with these young artists. But perhaps the most disturbing is the stories that he may be involved in the demise or disappearance of people close to him. The most recent of these controversies was Jamie Foxx's hospitalization. On April 12th, Jamie Foxx was hospitalized due to an unknown medical condition, and Diddy is suspected to be responsible. The pair had crossed paths more than once, and you could go so far as to say that they were friends. Starting a career in the entertainment industry as a stand-up comedian, Jamie Foxx started looking for ways to expand his network and get the right connections to take his career to the next level. It was during this time that he met Diddy. Jamie Foxx worked as a videographer for Diddy, who loved throwing expensive parties, which meant Foxx was always present at Diddy's parties. It was during one of these parties that Diddy told him he had been spending millions of dollars for these events. But Jamie Foxx thought that he was spending too much and told him he could throw a party for only 400 bucks, which he was able to pull. Foxx, who had a studio at his house, invited several popular musicians like Kanye West to record their music, turning his house into a show. Meanwhile, although he made some money from the connections he made at Diddy's parties, he was aware of everything that went down at these parties. And not long after he had given a little insight in an interview, we heard news of his hospitalization. This has led many fans to point fingers at Diddy. Town car. Popped out the town car with a camera. Said, yo, Puff, yo, you got to let me film this. The whole thing, we need to document this, Playboy. He was like, uh, yo, let him through. And I'm like, all right, I'm through. <laughs> and I had the big Canon camera. It wasn't like this. But this is only the tip of the iceberg on the numerous controversies Diddy has been reportedly involved in recently. One of the celebrities to voice out about how dangerous Diddy can be was Valletta Wallace. We all know that Valletta hasn't been a fan of Diddy for obvious reasons. She believes Diddy was responsible for her son, the notorious Biggs' death. This claim isn't surprising. 
given that Diddy had been too involved in all the circumstances that led to Biggie's death, making him a prime suspect. Boletta had some valid claims to make as she said, I have a very good idea of who took out Christopher. And she went on to talk about how the authorities were trying to keep the culprit secret. They've done their investigation, but they just refuse to move forward. I don't know why they haven't arrested the person who was involved. Maybe I would strangle him because, you know, some of the, the, the <laughs> some of his associates, I still... Everyone knows Biggie was murdered and believes that the LAPD knows who was responsible, even though the judiciary was not presented with credible evidence. During this period, Valletta talked about Diddy's gender preference and how the rapper had been involved in inappropriate relationships with other males. Valletta also pointed out how uncontrollable Diddy can become whenever he would get drunk. She says that not only does Diddy lose all sense of right from wrong, but he also gets to show his other side. Valletta's accusations have been backed by other celebrities, one of which is Keith D. Keith addressed rumors of Diddy's personal life, revealing juicy details about the relationship between Tupac and Diddy. According to him, the two rappers were involved in some romantic relationships before their feud. In an interview with The Art of Dialogue, Keith revealed that Diddy used to organize some not-so-private gay parties, and Tupac was one of the attendees. Another celebrity who has backed this claim is Usher. Usher is probably one of the few people we can trust to know better about Diddy since he stayed with him for a while and so got to see things up close. The pair might have gotten pretty close when Usher stayed at his place when he was still young. And guess who let the secret out? Diddy himself. Diddy drunkenly said that he and Usher used to be together in the same year when both were much younger. Usher himself mentioned going to unconventional gay parties with Diddy, which weren't really his thing, but he learned a great deal about the rapper. One of them is Flavor Camp, which was hosted by Diddy when Usher was 15 years old. Usher also admitted to being exposed to all of society's unimaginable wrongs at the Flavor Camp. When asked if he would let his children go to Diddy's Flavor Camp, he declined the offer saying he wouldn't allow anyone close to him near those parties. I moved to New York City and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn. Meanwhile, Usher was not the only one to have shared his experience during his time with Diddy. Another one of his escapades was made public when Diddy was sued for harassment and retaliation by his former chef, Cindy Rueda. She claimed that she was fired for complaining about the harassment and not being paid for overtime. The chef said that she was regularly tasked with serving the music mogul and his friends meals during and after their many activities. According to sources, Rueda alleged she served Diddy meals in the most inappropriate of circumstances. At another time, she said one of his friends came to meet her in the kitchen, hoping to start something. Definitely there is going to be a host of others we have not heard about. So Diddy has established himself as somewhat of an apex predator who entices young rappers by offering them a shot at stardom, only to have other intentions in mind. One of the ways he has been said to lure them is through his infamous parties, which are notorious for indulging many fantasies. Usher is not the only one who has not been too impressed with these parties, which begs the question of why they go in the first place. But the truth is, as mentioned earlier, that the majority of these young rappers are searching for quick success. So being associated with someone as famous as Diddy could give them this dream. And more so, most of them see the parties as a place to build a strong network. With all these rumors, it's clear that Diddy won't be a good choice for a mentor for up-and-coming rappers. But what do you make of these stories? Let us know in the comments section below. Stay tuned to this channel for more updates on that.